Imagine a new frontier in battery technology, plastic batteries, crafted from innovative conductive polymers. These advancements significantly mitigate fire hazards while presenting a lifespan that notably outlasts conventional lithium-ion counterparts. Their use of low-cost materials adds to their allure for mass production, creating an intriguing narrative in energy storage. Yet, despite their current challenges with energy density, a wave of advancements in polymer technology beckons. These innovations hold the promise of dramatically enhancing performance, potentially enabling them to match or even surpass existing battery technologies in electric vehicles. What could this mean for the future of transportation? As the landscape evolves, testing polymer batteries in real-world conditions through pilot programs in fleet vehicles emerges as a pivotal step. Such initiatives could yield critical data on performance and reliability, shaping the trajectory of future developments in battery technology. But will these initial findings meet expectations? However, the journey is fraught with significant challenges. The need to breach the 150 watt-hour per kilogram barrier and minimize idle losses presents formidable hurdles for polymer batteries. Overcoming these obstacles is not just important, it is essential for their mass market adoption. Will the industry rise to the occasion? The potential of polymer batteries is vast, offering extreme power buffering for hybrid packs and ultra-safe stationary storage, crucial components for robust EV charging infrastructure. These capabilities could indeed revolutionize energy management, but how will they be integrated into existing systems? Nevertheless, the significance of real-world testing cannot be overstated. While lab results provide valuable insights, they may fail to capture the true lifespan and performance of polymer batteries. Unearthing field data is necessary for validating these capabilities. What revelations might emerge from such data collection? Meanwhile, lithium metal cells stalk the horizon, poised to offer a breakthrough in battery technology. By drastically reducing weight and enhancing energy density, they could transform the range and efficiency of electric vehicles. But will early prototypes grapple with the critical challenge of cycle life, hindering their wider adoption? Despite these challenges, a beacon of hope shines through advancements in AI-assisted electrolyte discovery. Such innovations have the potential to significantly bolster durability, paving the way for greater acceptance of lithium metal technology. Could this be the turning point the industry has been waiting for? Intriguingly, the two battery technologies, polymer cells and lithium metal, may be destined to coexist. Each can cater to distinct needs within the energy ecosystem, ultimately enhancing performance and longevity. What synergies might arise from this partnership? In practical applications, plastic batteries demonstrate their resilience, operating safely in high heat and facilitating rapid discharge across multiple EVs. Such features position them as ideal candidates for charging stations, significantly bolstering the infrastructure that supports electric vehicles. How will this shift the dynamics of energy distribution? As energy density continues to rise, plastic batteries stand upon the brink of redefining energy management for electric vehicles, prioritizing safety and longevity. This evolution could lead them to serve as virtual power plants in the future. But what implications will this have on the grid? While these batteries are not yet poised for long-range electric vehicle applications, they excel in short-duration roles, effectively extending the lifespan of existing lithium packs. This hybrid approach optimizes energy management within vehicles, raising a crucial question. How will this shift impact the future of electric vehicle design? The energy density of current plastic batteries falls short when compared to lithium-ion cells, presenting a significant obstacle to their deployment in the electric vehicle sector. This limitation raises a pivotal question. How can we improve energy density to enable practical applications? Interestingly, polymer batteries exhibit remarkable thermal stability and longevity, characteristics that render them particularly suitable for hybrid systems. By integrating them with lithium packs, these innovations could potentially enhance overall performance, thus extending the lifespan of current battery technologies. But is this the breakthrough we have been waiting for? Meanwhile, pilot programs conducting tests with plastic batteries in real-world contexts such as taxis and shuttle buses, hold the key to unveiling their true potential along with inherent limitations. These trials could serve as a critical junction, successful implementations may pave the way for broader adoption across diverse sectors, but what challenges lie ahead? Looking back, the historical skepticism surrounding lithium-ion batteries emphasizes an intriguing point. Polymer batteries might very well have the capacity to dispel initial doubts and carve out successful niches in the automotive industry. This trajectory suggests a fascinating parallel to the past advancements in battery technology, but will history truly repeat itself? Currently, polymer batteries stand on the brink of enhancing hybrid power systems and ensuring safe energy storage solutions for charging stations. 
This capability addresses critical obstacles within the electric mobility ecosystem. However, could their inherent versatility truly revolutionize energy management as we know it? While the promise of longevity in polymer batteries appears enticing, the realities of real-world conditions often challenge the lifespan claims established in laboratory settings. Consequently, there is a pressing need for rigorous testing to validate their reliability. Understanding the factors that contribute to degradation becomes vital in determining their practical applications. What insights will emerge from these investigations? Moreover, the integration of plastic batteries into charging stations may provide tactical relief to the power grid, acting as an efficient buffer. This innovation could facilitate rapid charging without overwhelming existing capacity constraints, but how will this transformation impact our energy infrastructure? Although plastic batteries currently display lower energy density, they offer significant safety and longevity benefits, positioning them as suitable contenders for urban and short-distance electric vehicle applications. Yet, is this enough to secure their place in future technologies? Finally, sodium-ion batteries shine in high-performance scenarios, while plastic batteries can contribute to enhanced cycle life and safety in bidirectional energy systems. Together, they promise to revolutionize energy management. But as we explore these possibilities, what unforeseen challenges await us? Musk's political engagement has inevitably incited backlash against Tesla, which subsequently influences its public perception. This controversy appears to impact the company's position within the increasingly competitive electric vehicle market. In this context, the forthcoming Model Q, which holds a projected price point of approximately $30,000, is regarded as a potential transformative entrant. Its affordability may significantly appeal to a broader customer demographic amidst intensifying competition. Notwithstanding delays in product launches, Tesla has articulated plans to unveil several new models by the year 2025. The firm's sustained focus remains on developing cost-effective options that resonate with evolving consumer expectations. The Model Q is anticipated to serve as a streamlined variant of the Model Y, prioritizing efficiency while incorporating essential features. This strategic approach is designed to maintain production costs at a competitive level. Tesla's foray into the hatchback segment is notable as it could expand its consumer base significantly. Competing models, such as the Chevrolet Bolt EV, underscore the rising popularity of electric hatchbacks in the marketplace. There are emerging speculations regarding the production of the Model Q at various locations. Giga Texas may support crossover units, while Giga Shanghai is likely to focus on hatchback variants. Such decisions may hinge on the prevailing international trade dynamics. The design of the Model Q is projected to draw inspiration from the Cybercab while integrating novel elements. This design philosophy stresses a synthesis of innovation with affordability, aligning with market expectations. Regarding battery technology, Tesla intends to implement lithium iron phosphate LFP batteries for the Model Q, which will enhance durability and cost efficiency, albeit with potential performance limitations in comparison to higher tier models. Production is expected to predominantly take place at the Shanghai Gigafactory, leveraging operational efficiency and robust supply chains, while future expansions in the US market are anticipated. The burgeoning anticipation for the Model Q signifies a strong consumer interest in Tesla's more economically accessible vehicles, particularly given its anticipated pricing that is expected to be below that of the Model 3, eliciting eagerness among potential buyers. Conversely, the Tesla Roadster Gen 2, despite experiencing delays, is recognized for its remarkable performance metrics, which include rapid acceleration and an exceptional driving range achievable on a single charge. Elon Musk perceives the Roadster as a halo car, intended to exemplify the potential of electric vehicles rather than serve as a primary profit generator within Tesla's mainstream product lineup. The Model 3 and Model Y stand as cornerstone products for Tesla, driving substantial revenue and solidifying the brand's market presence. They are integral to Tesla's overarching mass production strategy. The anticipated introduction of the Tesla Roadster is poised to exert a significant influence on the automotive industry as a whole, compelling competitors to elevate their technological and performance benchmarks. This development is likely to catalyze enhanced innovation across the sector. In conclusion, the forthcoming Model Q is projected to position itself as Tesla's inaugural affordable electric vehicle, thereby enhancing accessibility to electric automotive technology, while the Roadster is specifically tailored to cater to the high-performance market segment. The Gigapress represents a revolutionary leap in Tesla's production strategy, significantly slashing costs by eradicating the need for extensive welding and manual labor. This crucial streamlining not only enhances efficiency but also sets the stage for exponential growth in electric vehicle manufacturing. Elon Musk, drawing inspiration from the simplicity and efficiency of model toys, 
has instigated a paradigm shift in traditional vehicle production methods. This innovative casting process may very well redefine the automotive industry as we know it. The partnership between Tesla and Hydra Group proved pivotal in the development of the Gigapress, emphasizing the critical role of collaboration in advancing technology. Yet, this relationship also illuminates the formidable challenges encountered in transforming revolutionary concepts into tangible realities. Designed to function much like a high-speed consumer electronics assembly line, the Gigapress demands a dedicated facility due to its staggering size and weight. Such an ambitious design approach is, quite frankly, unparalleled within the automotive sector. Installing the Gigapress could span several months, as it may tip the scales at an astounding 3,700 tons, necessitating a specially reinforced foundation. This unprecedented magnitude not only challenges conventional wisdom but also redefines the landscape of car manufacturing. Tesla's aspiration to produce a vehicle in less than five seconds using the Gigapress underscores the potential for remarkably rapid production cycles. Such speed could, undoubtedly, transform the overall efficiency of electric vehicle manufacturing. Employing advanced cooling systems alongside AI-powered quality inspections, the Gigapress ensures meticulous production standards while effectively minimizing defects throughout the casting process. This commitment to quality sets a new benchmark in the industry. Elon Musk has unveiled that the production line for the Model 2 will implement a distinctive manufacturing process, meticulously designed to optimize speed and efficiency, thereby effectively addressing the surging demand in the market. The Model 2 distinguishes itself with a streamlined design, featuring a remarkably reduced number of structural components in comparison to the Model Y. This refinement not only simplifies assembly but also dramatically curtails production time. Furthermore, the re-engineering of the Model Y's rear frame has rendered it lighter, enhancing overall performance and structural integrity, attributes that play a critical role during dynamic cornering. This strategic redesign underscores Tesla's unwavering commitment to efficiency. Tesla's Giga casting technology exemplifies a bold leap towards modular vehicle assembly, facilitating streamlined production and the potential for unprecedented output rates. This method signifies a shift towards greater automation in manufacturing processes. However, the endeavor to deploy the colossal 50,000-ton Gigapress unveils the intricate complexities inherent in modern manufacturing. The logistics of transporting and installing such monumental machinery present a formidable challenge, one that could redefine operational paradigms.